What is going on, guys and gals, ladies and laddies? Welcome back to more Monster Sanctuary. In the last one, we beat up people and we got through, well, we beat up the alchemist. And now, going through here. Uh, I knew that those were gonna break because my recording messed up a second ago. So I knew what was gonna happen there. What is that? It's like a slug. Uh, but I wasn't able to see the ground level. I, I just kind of like walked in here and then bad things started happening. Ice ore. Give me back my boy. Some leather. That's fine. But there's a slug over here. What's this slug doing? Mr. Slug. What are you, weak to wind and water? Okay, interesting. Uh, we will bring out Zenitsu. We also need Florence, and we'll bring you out. Uh, let's shock everybody. Let's do shields, because everybody needs a shield. And then let's get chill on everybody. Or, I guess, only chill on you. Oh, you are just building him up. It's not a smart move. He does a lot of damage. Burn you. Deal the additional ice damage. Let's get a safe cast on everybody. That way we have a little bit of defense. Yeah, you're going to mess with Zenitsu again? I don't know why you do. Not a smart move. Slice him. I storm them. That takes two of them out. Mm, the fire, the burning might have been a good idea for that guy, just so that it might have taken him out. Oh, dude. Sweet. I got the crystal snail immediately. Let's go. Um... Let's name him, uh, Polly. Yep. Don't ask why. I don't even know. All right, we don't need to fight more. Hey. Now we have the teleport. And who's this joker? Hail, Keeper Seeker Reza. It's a beautiful lake, isn't it? They say the frozen oracle resides in a cave beneath the icy water. She only reveals herself to the brave and the worthy. Whoa, watch out. Don't step too close to the water, you might fall in. I don't have to tell you that it's deadly to take a swim in the icy water, right? Unless you've got some mighty warm clothes on you. But they don't look like it. If you do want to explore the frozen lake, you should get some protection against the cold. I heard there's a legendary clothes maker who can outfit you with something that allows you to swim in the icy water as long as you like. Clothing made from a beast's hide and magma pillar silk, I believe. And she can make it only when a full moon shines down on the mountaintop. I should mention, though, that she lives near the top of the eastern mountain of snow, uh, snowy peaks. Easiest way to get there? Well, if you climb up the mountain that you just passed through, there's a long bridge leading directly to the mountain where the clothes maker lives. Wish you good luck scaling the mountain. Always watch your step. Alright. New new mission acquired. Find clothing maker. Push. Melt. Alright, well, you're not something I can do right now. Hey, that's not what I was trying to do. That's also not what I was trying to do. Wait, do I have anybody that can activate grass switches? Earth switch. There we go. Wait, did I have anybody prior to that? Oh, I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, 
scloops over here, I think. I'm all right. Well, now we're traveling through here. Whoa, whoa, Velociraptors. What the hell is Velociraptors doing here? Orum tails, weak to physical moves, okay. Sounds like a job for these jokers. Bleed them. And then shock them. Oh, please. Charge me up. Shock. Water. Shred. I mean, that's two of them down immediately. Claw. Can I get one? No. They're too scared to give me a Velociraptor. They don't know the power they would that I would wield with a Velociraptor on my squad. Um, ice. Ice. The power of Mogwai. Still don't know what that is. Yeah, what's up here? Oh my god. Escargo and Velociraptors. Um, oh, that's actually perfect. Just you three again. Put support on everybody. Get a shock on everybody. Hydro pump. Not really hydro pump, more like surf. Gemstone rain. They are really... Like, they really want to murder Zenitsu. I mean, while I don't blame them, I would like to know why you have it out for my boy. Give me a Velociraptor. Yeah! Arm tail. Now I have a Velociraptor. Um, I mean, blue, why not? Let's go. Keep moving. We're getting to that cloth. We're going to that cloth here. We are getting us some sweet digs. Think I can make that? Oh shit, I can. But only for like a quarter of a second. I made it. I'm at the top of the world. I'm at the top of the world and all they gave me was leather. Wait, what the heck is that? There's like an invisible platform here. Hmm. Uh, can anybody activate invisible platform? Anybody know anything about invisible platforms? Okay. Um. <sighs> oh my god. Alright, well that's uh, something to do in the future. Um, anyways. Yaw. Hey, there's the bridge. So now I get to ride around on a Velociraptor. Um, if this wasn't already, like, a top-tier game, uh, it is now. It's even better. Whoa. Okay. While I love you. We gotta go up here. Going across the mountain. Oh no. There we go. 
Oh, that one was too short. There we go. And we'll just fall. Cool. Takes me back up to the top. Now, what's this way? Cool. Another gem. Look at that. I'm finding secrets without even trying. There's a freaking minotaur here. What the heck? And tell me there were minotaurs in this. Well, actually, I did fight a minotaur, like, pretty early on. Excuse me, seamstress. Ha, huh, what a surprise, a visitor. Hello, get warm by the fire. I'll make some tea for you. Oh, I have an even better idea. You came to me because you want to swim in the icy water, yes? You should probably swim in a lake that won't freeze you to your bones, but I can already see you're a stubborn one. I know better than to argue with some young know-it-all. I'll make some warm underwear for you, yes? Trust me. This will keep you warm even when you're at the bottom of the freezing of the frozen lake. It's true what you heard. I make it from a beast's hide and a magma pillar silk. But I can make warm underwear even but I can make warm underwear even when there isn't a full moon. Trim me some raw hide, alright? You already have some raw hide? Well, why are we still talking then? Uh, let me make some warm underwear for you. So hold on, you've just made me silk and leather underwear? Like an undershirt. Stay as long as you like, or you can go and test out your new warm underwear by diving into some icy water. Just don't forget to visit me every now and then, alright? Yeah, absolutely. Later! Oh, I died. Okay, so that's not the play. We don't go that way. We go this way. Oh my god. Uh, oh. Wait. No. Come, come over here a little bit. What, you have to be up here? To, to mark it? I guess? Alright, looks like we're fighting these guys. Uh, two of them weak to fire, and the other one, so you, you, you. Support. Sustain. Shock Slash. Go ahead, charge them up. Long Slash. Shock Slash. Shields. Everybody gets a shield. So can you apply shield up to your monster's maximum HP? I think that might be how it works. Delete them. Shock Slash. Flames on you. That way you burn a little bit, you know? Make them, make them a little crispy. Hit him. Flash them all. Ignite this guy. I was about to say, the other guy should die to ignite. Shred him. Lightning bolt. Uh, rawhide and minotaur egg. I'll take a minotaur. Uh, inventory minotaur. What? Oh, Minitar. Um, what should your name be? You know what? Your name is going to be Franz. Don't ask why. Skills. More health, full offense. Every buff action applies one additional buff. Uh, let's just get the healing skill one. Get buffed attack. Give my little dude here, like... Better spectral flame? Oh, he doesn't have it. Uh, it's him. Uh, better safe cast. Uh, when shielding yourself, also apply 20% shield to others. Looks good. 
a strawberry. Oh, let's go up like that. Two wool. Oh, we're not doing that. Uh, let's check what this way is real quick. What do we got? Hold on. Almost. Come on. Ah. Oh. Now wait a minute. You can't just be doing stuff like that. Down. Alright, that's a death plane. Fine, we'll go down this way. There we go. Some more things. Another almond. I don't know why we're jumping all the way up into crazy areas just for almonds, but, I mean... Okay. Cool. Lever pulled. Um, I need somebody who can activate water orbs. Okay, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Just a nice, easy time of jumping around on the Now, I don't see this uh, path that they got here. How am I standing here? Hmm. How odd. Hey, look. Icy water doesn't murder me anymore. So wait, who else has dark rooms? Lights up dark rooms. Hmm, okay. I think I need some other stuff to do that. So we're just gonna not worry about that for the moment. Can I go this way? No. Gotcha. Well, there's another item. Alright. So we're just not gonna worry about that area right now. Come back up here. And we'll go this way. Go down this side. Go down here. Whoa. Chest. Oh, I used that at the wrong time. We're getting that chest. You guys don't get a say in this. I'm the only one who says whether I get the chest or not. There we go. Oh, just a level badge. Not the craziest thing, but it's a thing. Hey, look, lever. See, I knew I'd come back to that area. A little Mogwai's in the way. Nothing a little jump and fly can't solve. 
And then we just gotta go all the way to the west. Perfect. Oh, I fell into a battle. Uh, that's fine. Um, we'll just go... You, you, you. Support on everybody. Shock Slash. Water. I mean, we got a poison on one of them, so that's good. And then he got poisoned by... You know, doing errant stupid stuff. Uh, Shred? Shred. Shock. It's doing, like, good little bits of damage. That blob should die, though, to this. Shred. Oh, Shred took him out. Shell and blue gem. We continue. Hello, sir. Goodbye. We're in the water. What magical creatures will we find down here? I see you've come to tread on the doorstep to oblivion, young keeper. Who? Whoa. You know of the dangers that lurk in the forlorn places of the sanctuary, and yet you seek them out. I've watched you as you traverse the snow, pe uh, snowy peaks, and even before that, spectral keeper Riza. I think I remember visiting this place with one of your ancestors. But I don't remember this strange apparition. In another life, I used to be called by a different name. But now, I am known only as the Oracle of Snowy Peaks. What are you exactly? Why do you haunt this place? Need a little water. Uh, I am a lost soul that wandered the oceans of the world for years beyond count. During my natural life, I had seen the world turn to darkness before my own eyes. When the sanctuary was created, it was as if a triumphant beacon lit up in the middle of a black sea. Hope returned to the world. That is why I will always watch over the sanctuary, and if need be, I will intervene in the course of fate. The last time I revealed myself to a keeper was almost 300 years ago, when the sanctuary was in great danger. But we failed. The man who had turned himself into an undying devil escaped our grasp, and he still seeks to corrupt the sanctuary. With lies and sweet promises, he's turned several keepers over to his cause. I do not know how many have joined his ranks. You've already shown great bravery on the path that led you here. I need to be sure that you are the one that will save the sanctuary from this devil. Do you believe that you are ready to face the Oracle's challenge? Sure. Come forth, noble beast. Test this keeper's spirit through combat. Oh. Okay. Um, you, you, and you, because you all have wind abilities. It's an Orca. All right, people, this is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Oh, he's not too bad. Uh, Master Store. Get some shields up. Can this? I can't. Okay. So Shock Slash is actually good to put Shock on enemies. Uh, we do... A little more restoring. Add a little bit of wind onto you. A little bit of shock onto you. There we go. Uh, we need shields up. We need whirlwind. And then we need lightning flash. Add a little bit of bleed to it as well. Uh, Leaf Slash won't do anything. That'll do good work. 
Let's add some more shields. I just don't want to risk getting super beat up. Yeah, protect we're not going to do. More shock if we can. No. I mean, please, by all means, if you want to keep doing the same thing over and over again, no problem. I will keep adding on damage to you. And we'll be all good. More whirlwinds. More chilling winds. More lightning slashes. Like, this guy's not that big of a problem. We're just fighting an orca. He's not scary. There we go. Look, see? You can hit the guy that really does the damage. Lightning Flash. Yeah, we're good. Fang plus three. A couple extra stuff, too. You've bested the Shaman Beast a clute. You've proven your force of will as well as your bravery. I shall give you all the aid that I can, and I trust that you will use my gifts to save the sanctuary. The key lies hidden in the deepest point of the sanctuary. Once you have this key, you will know what to do. But to enter the deepest domain of the sanctuary, you will need to collect all of the sanctuary tokens that are hidden across the sanctuary. To find the sanctuary tokens, you will need to travel to the most remote corners of the sanctuary. I can give you only one of the Sanctuary Tokens. Oh, thanks. I know that there is another Sanctuary Token in the Sun Palace, which lies west of the Blue Caves. It's all that I can tell you. Come back here any time you wish to, uh, to hear these things again. Go now, Fate of the Sanctuary depends on it. Oh, cool. Uh, I'll take this item. Thanks for the carrot, ma'am. Oh, hey, look at that guy. Alright, well, uh, we magically ended up in the correct place. I didn't know that that was going to be where she was. I thought I was going to have to, like, trek through the underwater for a while to find her, but I guess she was just chilling, like, two feet away from... Move block. Move block. Move block. Thank you. Bronze. All right, let's get out of the icy water. Hello, sir. Yes, I already went down there. All right, so we don't need to be here anymore. Uh, we can actually go to here. Yeah, let's go here. And we just need to go down. And once we go down far enough, we can get to the Sun Palace. Do I want to go mess with the Goblin King before then? I already got this. I think... Yeah, let's just mess around in the Sun Palace. That'll, that'll be a next episode thing, but we'll get up to it at least. Like, we'll walk in, and maybe, just maybe, I might do a little more grinding as well once we get to the Sun Palace. I won't do anything crazy. I'll probably stick to, like, the starting room if I if I really need to. Just so that I don't spoil anything for myself while I don't have people watching. Grass. I don't have anybody who does, like, heavy grass damage to everybody. You do bleed. You do water. But you have grass moves, so, I mean... Oh. Support. Tidal wave. Don't poison me, you loser. Hit this guy. Bleed them all if you can. No, you couldn't. Oh well. That guy dies to bleed. How much damage does bleed do to the enemy? Not really 100% sure. I took him out, and then this guy's just going to be a real quick ignite, and he should be gone. 
Yep, some more gems, some more things. And the Sun Palace is just right here. A lot of, like, electrical symbols and a praying mantis, some twin-headed cobras. But we'll mess with those guys in the next one. See you guys then. Take care. Bye-bye.